Hello my friends and welcome to Del Grosso's Amusement Park. I didn't plan on being here until basically yesterday. I figured I could sneak it in because it was so close to Lake Mom Park and I learned some fun facts about this park. Apparently it is owned by the same Del Grosso's that owns the pasta sauce company and all of those foods. So I think it's Del Grosso's Foods, but third generation owned. How about that? A lot of fun. Let's go check this out. There's two credits here to pick up. I'm gonna get them done. So they do make you enter here at the water park and we have to take this walkway all the way up but I noticed to my right here they have pasta fresca which I may have to hit up to try this sauce that I have not heard about but in the main entrance here it is a little crowded parking was not too bad they had people directing things but let's head on over to the amusement park as you can see it's a fairly busy hot summery day here but I just wanted to highlight this right here it's a leaning tower of Pisa water feature <laughs> From here, I can actually make out one of the credits. That is the crazy mouse right over there. However, we got to walk across the road and then go all the way over there. I can also see the second credit here. It is a wacky worm, an absolute classic. So while I'm making this long walk, let's talk a little history. So apparently three generations of Del Grosso's. Uh, there was an Italian immigrant mother started a cafe then the daughter working in the cafe met the other the I think his name is Frank I should check my names before I start recording but I believe it was a Frank and a Murph or a Fred and a Murph um, they met at that restaurant decided to go into the business making sauce bought this park used some of the facilities for making the sauces then upgraded more generations forward the park evolves they change it from whatever it was before to Del Grosso's amusement park and Del Grosso's pasta sauce starts taking off and now they have this wonderful water park this amusement park and I think a nationally distributed uh, so set of foods and stuff that's all related to pasta pretty awesome found a handy dandy sign here that can kind of give you an idea of how this park is laid out one side of the road the water park is where all the parking is and then on the other side is where you'll get all the dry park and the picnic grove. I found some plaques of the founders. It was, his name was Ferdinand. I was way off. And then here is Mafalda, who was known as Murph. All right, I think we're doing this, guys. We're gonna start off our day with a wacky worm. Apparently they do a food festival here in the fall. That sounds awesome. Their 31st annual. Ooh. Now knowing the names of the founders, I spotted Fred's Pizzeria. And then there's Murph's Kitchen just on the other side here. So they're still using names from uh, founders here for some of their dining locations, which makes sense. From what I can tell, it has kind of your standardish collection of flat rides for the kiddies. Although this is a form of swings that I have not seen before. Not with that type of top. Usually they're far more ornate. I'm curious to see if it does anything differently. Uh, apparently it just does about the same exact thing that most swings do. They just does not have the cover on it. So the other day I was commenting how there isn't anything outside of like an Arabian Nights theme for this type of ride. But here it is. It is a giant guitar. I watched a quick cycle of Rockstar and it was very quick. I think it was almost half as long as the Alibaba that I saw over at Waldemir. Just a random tidbit. <laughs> there you go. All right, what you're hearing right now is apparently from Bland's Park, which is the name of the park before it was renamed to Del Grosso's. They have the Herschel Spillman Carousel Verlitzer 146B Band Organ from 1924. Wow. And uh, this one is sitting right in the middle, unfortunately. We can't get a good look at it, but you can hear it. Here 
here, let's share some fun facts that I've discovered about the carousel. It is one of the original rides, or maybe the only original ride from when this park was bought by the Del Grosso's. There is a leading horse that has a red sash, and all the horses on here are in the jumping position. The outermost horses are large, then the next one is middle, is medium, and then the innermost are the smallest. Now that we're done appreciating the carousel, we can head on over to the second credit at Del Grosso's, and that is the Crazy Mouse, which is, I believe, the same model as Rage and Cajun, and a couple other ones that I have ridden just recently. I did not know about Zephyron as a manufacturer until a little while ago when I rode it on Steel Pier, but here we are with another one. While waiting in line here, I did want to note that they have an x cream that's very similar to the one that I saw at Valdemir. I'm gonna wait and see how it operates, but I believe it's just take you up and plummet you down to the bottom. Also, I got the name wrong of the manufacturer. It's Revershon. <laughs> I don't know what I said before, but that was incorrect. Not too much to say about the crazy mouse. This fence is a little unstable. <laughs> Why did I put all my weight on it? Um, there was no spinning in the first half. It reminded me a lot of how the tickler is, where when you're coming down, it only really gets going there. And I think that's the same story with uh, Raging Cajun, but it's been a while since I've ridden that. But yeah, no spinning until you get to that second level and you're going back and forth. And there was a lot of spinning. I went down the last couple of humps completely backwards and it was great. So just beyond the crazy mouse, and the X screen, we have a little midway game area. It's pretty cool. Another, well, there's a lot of food areas here, and all of them seem to have pretty short lines. I hope that means they're well staffed. There is a swing buggy. That is something I saw at the Steel Pier. It's very much like a Music Express. Also spotted this paratrooper, which is black and orange. Interesting. I don't think I've seen one with quite like those pointy umbrellas. Usually they're just domes. So, huh, this is definitely a little different. Maybe it looks like it's from the 70s or 80s. I forget what this is called, but I love that style ride. I wish that they had kept this at places like Six Flags Great Adventure, because those were awesome. And there they have a casino. I forget what that one is called, but it looks a little older than like the wipeouts that I've seen in other places. And then last but not least is a Dodgems bumper cars, which is absolutely classic. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it is a roulette wheel. Oh, theming like that, I sure can appreciate. I hope you guys like it too. But the ride vehicles themselves, they look a little older than what I'm used to seeing on something like this. And I just wanted to point it out. It's still really fun. Now taking a walk here by the Picnic Groves. This definitely looks like it could be Birthday Party Central. Although I think everybody is at the water park right now. But yeah, it's uh, then the regular park is right over there. Oh, the picnic groves, pretty chill back here. Hmm. So this is definitely a very cute little kid slash family park. Awesome. And the water park is pretty sizable and very popular as it seems. But I think the last thing to do here, now that we've ridden the two coasters, is actually try some of the pasta that we saw up at the entrance by the water park. And just a quick point before we head over there, here's the Del Grosso sign, and I just wanted to show you the mountains that are in the background of all of this park here. Like, wow. <laughs> it sure beats just a concrete jungle. I was told that the wait for the pasta fresca line is uh, about a half hour to 35 minutes. I definitely can't do that. I'm kind of wishing that I uh, had bought some pasta sauce to take home with me. But I don't think pasta is going to happen. It's not in my future plans here. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for me here at Del Grosso's Amusement Park. I didn't get to try the pasta, but I did pick up some of the sauce here. I got the original recipe as well as the garlic and cheese. I also won myself a buddy bear. So I'd say I'd had a pretty awesome day here. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. And I hope you go make your own adventure. Bye.